All right, everybody, progress is being made. Democrats and Republicans are finally coming to an agreement on President Biden's new infrastructure package. And this is great news, everybody. But the big question is, will President Biden's new plan provide more financial help to millions of Americans across the country? Everybody, if you support President Biden and his work on a Ford stimulus check, then let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And also, everybody, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. I put a lot of work and effort into these videos, and I want to see every member of my community receive the help that they so desperately need. So folks, it means a lot to me if you could subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. Now, the Senate just passed a $35 billion bill that strengthens state's water infrastructure on a bipartisan 89-2 vote. And the bill was supported by both Democrats and, Re and Republicans in the Senate. The only two senators to vote against the bill were Republican Senators Mike Lee and Ted Cruz. Multiple senators said the Drinking Water and Wastewater Infrastructure Act would foster economic growth, build climate resilient infrastructure, and help ensure that all Americans have access to clean, safe water. The bill would allocate billions of dollars to upgrade drinking water and wastewater infrastructure projects across the United States. This is awesome news, everybody, for the millions of Americans that do not have consistent access to clean drinking water. Republican Senator Shelley Moore told NBC, passing this bill in a bipartisan way, like we did today, shows the American people that their elected officials in Congress can work collaboratively together on infrastructure. So yeah, guys, the passing of this bill does mean that Democrats and Republicans could work together and pass a fourth stimulus bill with a fourth stimulus check and a $200 increase in your Social Security benefits. But everybody, there's still a lot of work that must be done. This past Sunday, several Republican lawmakers made it clear that they were not satisfied with President Biden's proposed $2.3 trillion infrastructure bill. As members of the Biden administration advocated for the measure as a necessary investment, multiple GOP lawmakers remain skeptical of the infrastructure's bill provisions. Now guys, Republican Senator Bill Cassidy criticized the proposed bill as being spread too widely across the country to be effective. Bill Cassidy is a GOP lawmaker currently leading efforts to reach a compromise with Democrats. The senator said, if you want to fix roads and bridges, come where Republicans already are. If you're talking about spending hundreds of billions of dollars on public sector unions, we're far apart. So folks, will Social Security recipients receive an extra $200 monthly payment? Well, in today's video, everybody, I'll be answering all of your Social Security questions and all of the questions that you have around a Ford stimulus check. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. If you support a Ford stimulus check from Congress, then let's get this video to 1,000 likes. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. Right now, everybody, President Joe Biden is proposing a major expansion of the government's role in long-term care. Many Americans are questioning some key provisions of Joe Biden's infrastructure plan. So far, everybody, the stimulus bill currently includes $400 billion to accelerate a shift from institutional care to home and community services, all through the Medicaid program. But the thing is that Joe Biden intends to change long-term health care, and the size of the financial commitment is about 17% of the $2.3 trillion infrastructure proposal. According to ABC News, long-term care was always going to be a growing issue in an aging society like the United States. However, the crisis has made it even more consequential. So folks, it looks like some of our politicians are finally ready to help out our seniors. In addition, everybody, a new summary of President Joe Biden's plan says the money will go to expand home and community-based services so more people could get health care. Another goal from Joe Biden will be to raise pay and benefits for all workers, and wages now average around $12 an hour. In addition, everybody, the proposal would permanently reauthorize a program with Medicaid that helps people move out of nursing homes and back into their communities. What do you think of Joe Biden? Do you approve his work on stimulus checks and Social Security benefits? Let me know down in the comments. And if you guys believe that Joe Biden will send a fourth stimulus check this year, then let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Now remember everybody that during the campaign, Joe Biden ran on a platform that includes proposals to increase Social Security benefits, while extending the program's solvencies. President Biden's Social Security platform included key benefit increases. Eligible workers would get a guaranteed minimum benefit equal to at least 125% of the federal poverty level. And people who have received benefits for at least 20 years would get a 5% bump. Widows and widowers could receive about 20% more per month. Joe Biden also proposes changing the measurement for annual cost of living increases to the consumer price index for the elderly, which can more closely track the expenses that retirees face. And to pay for the changes and extend the program solvency, Biden would apply Social Security payroll taxes to those making $400,000 and up, 
Everybody, I definitely agree that social security benefits must be increased. Our politicians must do a better job in helping out our seniors. By the way folks, how much do you think SSI benefits should be increased to? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. In addition everybody, President Biden called for increasing social security checks by $200 per month during the crisis. And this idea... Good afternoon, it's exactly 12. Good afternoon, sir. I want to, uh, I want to put today's jobs report in perspective. Three months before I got here, the economy added about 60,000 jobs a month. So folks, Democratic Senator John Manchin recently told reporters that he opposes using a maneuver that would enable the Democratic Party to pass Joe Biden's $2.3 trillion infrastructure proposal without Republican support, noting that he favors a smaller and more targeted bill. And it's not surprising everybody, before the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan was passed, Senator Joe Manchin said that he would rather support more targeted relief. Right now, Manchin is a West Virginia moderate and holds the power to block Democratic lawmakers' agenda in the evenly divided Senate. Joe Manchin has already rejected the idea of using the budgeter reconciliation process, and it's a process that Democrats want to use. So while most legislation requires 60 votes to advance in the 100 seat Senate, the budget reconciliation process allows for a simple majority. Together with the American Rescue Plan, the American Jobs Plan is going to help the economy create, as I said, estimated over 16 million good paying jobs. And folks, we can't afford to not do it. We can't afford to not spend the time and effort and money. Adding that while he opposed the cost of Biden's plan, he was optimistic Republicans and Democrats could work out a deal. Republicans do oppose ambitious legislative agenda right now. However, things could change in the near future. They might increase the social security benefits by $200 a month and also pass a fourth round of stimulus payments of $2,000 per month. We never know everybody. Now for those of you that have not received your missing stimulus money, if you decide to file a tax filing extension, you only have more time to submit your return not to pay any money you owe. Some of you could be eligible for a top-off payment if the tax attorney submit this tax season shows that your income dropped since last year. However, the IRS has urged federal beneficiaries to file a return in order to make sure their eligible dependents are included. The government is also encouraging people who does not have a... For millions of Americans, Social Security is a lifeline. Nearly two-thirds of all seniors depend on it for most of their income, keeps 15 million people out of poverty, and for millions of people who suffer accidents, who get sick, Social Security disability insurance is there when they need it. We must protect Social Security. And that's why we're all here, is to protect Social Security. If you meet the eligibility requirements, you could receive some financial support starting next month. An official Fort Stimulus check plan has been proposed, and remember everybody that the whole goal of this channel is to provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. I want to see every member of my community receive the much-needed stimulus payments. So Chuck Schumer 